Hey guys, what's up? Granite here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Wrath of the Lich King and play on Gamer District. So there's a, there's going to be a few links in the description to how to uh, download the stuff and how to get the server name and everything, but I'm just going to go through a step-by-step -step tutorial because there isn't simply one out there on the internet right now, and it's quite frankly quite really disappointing. So the first thing you're going to want to do, uh, since we're going to be going on Gamer District, is you're going to want to um, make an account so you want to sign up. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and sign up. So your username could be anything, it doesn't really matter. So just for uh, sake purposes of the video, I'm just going to call it, uh, I'm just going to call it Granite Test. I'm going to call it Grand Test, so that's available. I'll use the test email that I also made at outlook.com. I thought it was org for a second, so password. You guys need to know this. And then password again. Uh, refer to account. Don't, um, don't write anything here. This doesn't matter. Uh, and then this field right here, it's really hard to see. I think it says tutorial, tutorial, and I'm going to space in. There's always going to be some kind of thing that pops up here. Um, send me news and information to recommend that. I've read the terms and agreement. That needs to be a thing. So go ahead and create account. So once you've submitted it, you go ahead and check your email. So that's what we're going to do right now. Uh, this may take, this might take, um, a few minutes to do for the inbox to come in there, but it'll eventually come in, which is nice. Uh, see, there it is, there it is. So, once you get an email, then you want to uh, open it up, and there'll be a thing inside that says email was sent to. Uh, now, there's two links here. So, there's this link, and then there's this link. So, this link directly uh, appoints you to the register page, that's good. Um, at this point here, I forgot to mention right at the beginning, but I am using uh, Microsoft Edge. I would be using Chrome, but for some reason, the Gamer District's web page is really weird, wonky, and it won't want to show up stuff. So for the sake of uh, purposes of watching this, we're just going to do it on Microsoft Edge, because I know that's for sure one you can use. I think probably Internet Explorer is one you can probably use as well but this is what you want to pick. Okay, so that's weird. Uh, so we're going to sign in again. That, that I think that's normal. I think that's normal when it does that. So let's try this. Granite test. And then sign in. Alright, so yep, that's normal. So just remember uh, to when it, sho when it shows up like that pop-up, like I'll just do it one more time again. Uh, there'll be a thing that says uh, sign in here, so you click that and you just sign in like I just did. Uh, so then there's the readme validate your account. So from here, uh, you're in the form, but you don't have full access. So we're going to go back to this later. Alright, so step two, we're going to download some stuff. There'll be three links in the, the, the description. So the first one will be for uTorrent. Uh, this is the torrent bit that you're going to need to uh, install in install the client. It's going to be very, very important. If you don't have this, you can't install the client, and therefore you can't play the game. But I know you guys want to play Wrath, so um, you would install it down here. I already have it installed, so uh, this is up to you where you want to put it in your files doesn't really matter where just put it in a spot maybe you just make a folder that says for uh, just for Wrath of the Lich King I would recommend doing that the next thing you need is uh, notepad plus plus and what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to edit and change things in text files and different text files without harming the file itself so the one I would recommend going for is the Notepad++ installer 60-bit. Uh, this doesn't really take too much, just make sure when you're at the end of the wizard uh, to hit the check mark box that states create a shortcut. 
so you can have like a shortcut like so. You torrent will make its own shortcut as I remember in the wizard and you should be pretty set with that. Um, now the next part is the torrent. There's lots of torrents out there that you can use. Uh, this is the one I'm going to use because I know this one has an easy to locate realms list which we're going to be talking about next. Uh, so for the sake of this video I will uh, re-download this torrent so you guys know what to look for. Yep, there we go. So sorry about that little incy dincy. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and call this uh, this file Lich King three because I already have like a bunch of um, I have a bunch of these. So I'm gonna hit OK. And so what it's gonna do is uh, it's gonna download this full thing here. So this could take a while for you. Now this this one has, I would believe, 25 cedars. And the amount more cedars you get, the better download speed. So cedars is like someone on a different PC, and you're downloading from them. So it's not really a big deal, but this file is going to take quite a bit, unfortunately. So I'll be back in a little bit, and we'll resume from there. Okay, now we are back. So the one thing that we're going to want to do with our uTorrent is we do, want, we do not want to seed it anymore. So what we're going to do first is we're going to right click on it and then hit pause and then right click on it again and then hit remove. And you sure you want to remove this selected torrent. So uTorrent likes to boot up on itself most times and so what it'll do is that it'll jump up, pop up on your window here somewhere, on your Windows PC, and it'll start seeding. And if it starts seeding, it starts eating up your data, your internet, and other people start um, start downloading off you. So you don't want that. So you're going to remove that. Uh, we currently do not want you torn up right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go find where we downloaded it. So I in my downloads called it Lich King 3 so that's what you're probably going to want to type in your corner here so Lich oh hang on Lich King 3 uh okay I'm back that up so yeah so it's this one right here so this is the one I use but this is the one we're going to use in this example and it's going to give you all this stuff here so um now we're gonna boot up the game so what you're gonna wanna do is that this is the game you want here you can also use this one but I recommend using this one so we're gonna right click on this and we are going to make a shortcut okay um, send to and then we're going to create shortcut I think this generated one on the PC, let me look. Yep, so it made one right here. Um, so it generated the shortcut. And pretty much every time that you um, click this, you left click on it, double left click, you're going to log into it. So right now I'm going to change the name of it as Test Wrath of the Lich King. So we're just gonna do that. So we're gonna double click on it and what this should do is it'll just load in the game client you just kinda make sure that it's working pretty much so you're probably gonna see the cinematic when it opens up right, so the cinematic is running as normal well. watch the whole thing so if you don't want to watch the whole thing either just hit the escape key anyway so uh, you're gonna wanna just scroll through all this stuff and you're pretty much just going to want to accept all these terms in agreement. Now you have the client here and you'll have a thing called options over here and you can adjust your volume and your sound as you please but right now we're not going to necessarily do that right away. We're just going to be more so focused with the login here. Uh, so 
pretty much I'm going to show you what it's like if you enter in your username and your password pretty much what will happen is uh, you will not be able to sign in and the reason why for that is because you need to change the realms list so we're going to do that and this is the part where we have to change the realm list. Now, you can do any other realm you want, but for this video, we're going to do Gamer District because that's the one I am going to be intending to play on. And anyway, we're going to go back here just for a second. So this is your whole file. You go into Data, EMG, GB, and then there will be a thing called Realms List. Now, this is when uh, the notepad plus plus comes in handy so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna right click on that and then hit edit with notepad plus plus so right now it's set to this realms list and I don't even think this is a legitimate realm so uh, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna delete this and I'm gonna put the link in the description well it's not even a link but I'll just have the uh, I'll have the game server on there. In the, I'll have the <clears throat> words. Okay, I'm gonna have this in the description. So I'm gonna copy this over, put it in here, and then file, save, and and I'm just gonna quickly this one. So I think you just gotta save that, and then I'm gonna exit out. So the realms list should still be the same perfect so that's exactly what we want so I'm gonna boot it up again and let's try it out So now we got the server authenticated, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to choose English in the top right hand corner and leave normal as normal for now. And this pretty much allows you onto any realm. So suggest realm, and then you have the gamer district realm times seven. You're going to hit OK, achieve a character list. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a character. It doesn't matter what kind of character because we're going to need this character in order to get the forms active. So in this scenario, I'm just going to call mine Granite Test. The Granite's Test? Yeah, I'll just call it Granite Test. And I'm just going to go ahead and enter the world. So there will be a cinematic that will open up. You can go ahead and hit Escape if you want to, or if you're interested with learning the lore of the game, then by all means watch it. But in this video, I'm just going to skip it. Spam Escape and we're in. So that's cool. Let's start the game. So, uh, pretty much, you know, the cool stuff here. And I'm just going to tab out. So now that we have logged in with the character, I'm going to exit out of this. And I'm going to go back to the Gamer Forum website. Uh, wrong, oop, wrong one. Alright, so we're back in the game reform. So, what we want to do here is you want to hit this uh, read me, validate your email. This is important. So, click this. And uh, by the way, this is in the form section. So, so, hit that. And then you'll go to this read me, validate your account. And there will be a link here. So, make sure to click this. And then that's your account name. Mine's Grant Test. Uh, search and send. So now it's sent it to my email. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this really quick. Refresh. All right. So this one is from the Gamer District. So this email has been sent, so make sure uh, to use this one, that link right there. And then what this does is that it opens up the whole form for you so you can see all this stuff. And that's pretty much it. So you are officially on Gamer District. 
So you have the form at your disposal. I believe you can go into members. Yep, you can go into members. You can go to the shout box. Uh, and you can do a whole bunch of other stuff on here. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And if you're going to be playing D Gamer District, <laughs> man, it is fucking good. It is awesome. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Stay safe.